But no matter how wrong it is, in your mind, get this straight. In itself, it is not a sin against God. A man who is a fornicator cannot break the addiction of pornography and masturbation or of immorality. Himself is a slave, no matter how anointed. Hello, dear. I know by the grace of God, you are fine. We Christians have to understand that what Christ did for us is a spiritual thing. But we have physical things also over there. All you have to do is just to believe in Christ, believe in his baptism, and believe in the Spirit's gospel. So that when you are no more on this planet, you get a better place for your soul. Today we are going to talk about a physical thing that has been migrated and has been said for so many years in the Christian community. That's masturbation. A lot of people are addicted to it. A lot of people don't know ways and means they have to stop it. A lot of people try their best to stop, but they find themselves doing it and doing it here and there. We are going to listen to Pastor Chris. Shockingly, he explained that masturbation is not a sin, but he dived deep into it and he explained so many things. Let's watch the video and listen attentively to what he said. Firstly, it's a thing of the mind you've uh, allowed, which has become a habit now to you, I'm sure. It's a problem to you. Um, is first stop it, and you have the power to do that. As a child of God, you don't want something, you can stop it. So, don't think about it, don't go in that direction and stop it. And you obviously have a problem with it, and that's why you are needing a solution. And the Bible says that God is outworking us, both to will and to do of His good pleasures. And the ability of Christ is in you to stop anything you don't want, and you can. You, you, you just, you just don't, don't do it. If you don't like it, it's, it's just over. And you win. Apostle Michael Ruku added up by saying this. I help somebody who is going through an addiction. It just dropped in my spirit now. It's only on very few occasions that addictions are broken by impartation. And the people that have the power to break addiction through impartation are not just anointed they are those who are able to live above that thing they are the ones that have the witness to break it a man who is a liar can't break the addiction of lying no matter how anointed he is he's a slave of that spirit a man who is a fornicator cannot break the addiction of pornography and masturbation or of immorality himself is a slave no matter how anointed he can raise people's open blind eyes but he doesn't have authority in that realm that's why when you're, when there's an addiction the first thing to look out for is not somebody to pray for you it's number one to starve that addiction Flamboyant lifestyle because Left what energizes that addiction is what you hear and see if you starve that addiction for a long time the power will die and the connection that addiction has to your brain because for every addiction there are neurotransmitters that have been trained to create hormones that power it when you starve it for a long time those neurotransmitters will become dormant and then you have the spirit to deal with and the second way to address an addiction is to begin to hear contrary realities and see contrary realities when you do it for a long time your mind will be renewed the spirit will no longer have the manipulative power over your mind it's when these two things are done that you'll be able to cast out the demons and be free from the addiction if you only cast out the demons even if the demons don't come back your brain is already secreting hormones your brain will take you back to that addiction your soul is already fine-tuned to operate by the law of that addiction your soul will take you back the demon doesn't even need to come back and so the way you engender that kind Lamboyant of lifestyle is to first deal with your mind. Listen, your word is in your mind. I'm telling you, your word is in your mind. If your consciousness is wrong, your word will be wrong. Your life will be wrong. If your consciousness is right, your word will be right and your mind will be right. This is what the devil capitalizes on. This is why people are speaking in tongues for hours, but they can never become anything. When they are young, 
they will enjoy the energy that comes with it. After many years, you will discover that it's only a handful that become champions. Because if you pray and it doesn't affect your mindset, if you study and it doesn't affect your mindset, what you are doing is cramming. That's the difference between a brilliant child and an intelligent child. A brilliant child remembers to pass exam. An intelligent Flamboyant child solves problems. FL analysis. It's about the mind. The human brain is the most essential human part of the body. Take care of it. Make sure that things that will be inculcated into it are things that is going to build you up. Don't spend your time watching anything just like that. Don't spend your time watching pornography. Don't spend your time watching nude pictures. Watch things that will add up to your life. That's the most important thing. If you're a Christian, your peace of mind and the sanity of your brain is important to you. You hold it yourself. If you know that you move with a couple of friends, that is going to let your peace of mind or that is not going to add up into your life, into what you've chosen for yourself. Make sure that you depart from them. Be very vigilant within yourself, attentive to yourself, and also take care of yourself. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you another time.